Hi everyone, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create plugs like the ones in the track Got Me Thinking by Madoc. So this is the original track. And this is my recreation. Before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos, and also if you want to get access to this preset, you can become a member of the preset pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch, but first let's take a look at the piano roll. So these are the notes that we're going to be playing. You can copy them if you want to follow along with the tutorial. Okay, so here I'm back at Serum, and the first thing we're gonna do is to load square waves on each oscillator. Doesn't sound too good right now, but we're gonna bring oscillator A one octave down, and also oscillator B one octave down, but we're gonna boost this one seven semitones up. You can also put it up and minus five. whatever you prefer. We're also gonna add the sub, two octaves down, direct out, and then we gotta create the plucky shape. But before we're gonna add some unison, bring the detune a bit lower. And you can play with the mix of the layers. For example, you can bring the lowest one down and boost the fifth, like that. Then we're going to load a filter and we're going to put oscillator A and B through this filter and we're going to map LFO into the cutoff of this filter. We're going to set it on envelope, which already sounds really cool. We're going to make a plucky shape like this. But in order to have a bit of tail, we're going to bring the rate to half a bar and then we're going to create a shape like this. Then we want to go into the cutoff, hold shift and alt and click on the modulation to change it to unipolar. Then let's bring the cutoff down. And with this filter, you can experiment all day. You can add some resonance or no resonance. You can change the filter. In this case, we're going to leave it like this. And now we're going to go into the matrix and map LFO number two into the global master tuning. We're going to boost a lot. And then we're going to make a falling shape on this LFO. Set our envelope. Make sure it's unipolar. This is just to add that click into the sound. go. Let's go into the effects. We're going to add a bit of distortion, but we're not going to leave it like this because this will distort the fundamental. So we're going to put it on pre mode and set it to a high pass mode and then distort only whatever is above 400 Hertz like that. And then let's bring the mix down. Let's use a multiband compressor next. And we're going to boost the release all the way up to not get that annoying tail. You can add a bit of reverb after this. And then we can EQ the sound. Like that. Now let's listen to this in context. And now we can just play 
with different parameters to try to mix this better. For example, the click is too strong in this patch, so let's bring the modulation down. I noticed that we need some lows, so I'm gonna boost the low mid. And this sound could be a bit longer. There you go. So that's gonna be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. Once again, if you want to get access to this preset, you can become a member of the DMB Academy Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.